How's it going guys? Here's a quick video on how I manage my tasks in Obsidian. I wanted to make this video specifically because there's a couple of uh, interesting things I do in my workflow and I feel that it might be able to help some of you. So just to get started, I've got this open note with uh, today's tasks. So as an example, I'm just gonna say, I'll create a new check mark, a uh, checkbox. And if you watched my previous video on how to use the inbuilt Obsidian features, you'll know you can create a checkbox with just control plus the enter key, right? So once I've got my checkbox, let's say that I wanted to say, read a specific book. So read this book, right? Then what I'll do is once I've created that task, the next thing is I'll hit the tab key and I will, inside of that task, try to break down all of my subtasks that complete the main task. For example, in this case, I could say it's review chapter four to six, and then I might actually like click on this and then go through here and I'd say, uh, okay, I wanna make sure that I understand principle one, the fear factor. So then I take that, go back. So using again, what I showed in the hidden obsidian tricks, you can go back and forth with Alt and the arrow keys. So I would add this then here. I'd say, um, make notes on this principle. And then I might just say like, um, research the author. Let's say those are the tasks I wanted to create for that. Once I've created all of the sub items that are necessary, and just to give you a final example, I'm, you can also indent as much as you want in Obsidian. So for example, let's say research author, background, ethnicity, other books, and then say Google his most famous book. Okay, so you can see there, for example, I've created a whole bunch of different indents and uh, this is just kind of like <laughs> what's possible. Once I've finished creating all the sub items, the next thing that I'll do is I'll fold that. So. I kind of put that away. I've added everything I need to for that specific task. And now what I want to do is focus on the next task. So you want to try to get everything out that you need to do for that day. So let's say another task I had would be like study for an exam, right? And then inside of there, I say, okay, um, make notes on the following chapters, chapter three, economics, chapter five, you know, psychology, right? So once that's done, again, I'll, I have like a second one, review your notes on learning. And then I will just actually, I've got that as a thing. So learning, so create that. Now, uh, what you'll start to notice is that over time it adds up. So you've got multiple different tasks that you have to do and you can really just let your ideas run free. So if you're someone who's like ADHD, like what I am, I'm sometimes like jumping around. Like I might be writing out this task and then I wanna jump back to this one and say, okay, cool. Uh, I remember I needed to add something over here. So then I'll quickly just say childhood, right? So then close that again, go back here, click on this task. Okay, cool, I wanna get this specific thing. Take that, go back, add it to the notes, right? So the whole point is to just be moving very streamlined in your, in your notes folder, right? Inside of your notes. That's why I made that video on the hidden obsidian tricks to kind of like show the keyboard shortcuts. But once this is done, uh, the next thing that I just wanted to mention is, let's say you've got three different tasks. So um, for example, if I, Okay, sometimes Obsidian just bugs out like that. So let's say you've got these three different tasks inside over here, and I'll even add a few more just to drive the point home. So I'll go here, add these tasks, make sure that they're uh, list items, okay, uh, checkboxes, right. So there's a plugin that you really wanna make sure you have. If you don't have this plugin, you should download it. It's called Outliner. So over here at the bottom, you can see this is the name. So Outliner, and what it does is it kind of gives you additional functionality for your list in Obsidian. So what you can do is you can actually, uh, for example, use your control key, shift, and then the upward arrow, and you can very quickly reorder your list. So this is really helpful because 
you know, what you want to be doing is prioritizing. You want to prioritize your most important task. So after you've written out everything you need to do for a day, then you can quickly just make sure that you're focusing on the highest value tasks first. And uh, that's really how I like to use it. So focusing on high, highest value tasks first. And then of course, once you uh, get started, you just want to be like ticking everything off. As soon as this one is done, tick that off and then you go to the next one and you just go through it like that. So that's an example of how I use Obsidian to manage my tasks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.